everyone and welcome to my March book haul. This video is going to include both the books that I bought in March and the books that I checked out from the library in March and there is quite a few books to talk about so let's get going. In March I acquired 10 books, 6 I bought for myself and 4 were gifted to me and I also checked out 6 books from the library and also have one placed on hold for whenever the person that has it returns it and then I'm gonna get it right away. The first three books that I bought in March were from Book Outlet. The reason I bought them was because I saw a book that was only one in stock and I needed to get it. Um, in March I read three novellas by Yoko Ogawa which I bought in February and I fell instantly in love with the writing style and the imagery created by the writing style and I decided that I need to get my hands on any Yoko Ogawa books out there. I looked it up on Book Outlet, not really expected to find it, but when I did and it was only one in stock, I had to get it. And I'm talking about Hotel Iris by Yoko Ogawa. I'm not sure exactly what this book is about because like I said, I just bought it because of the author. Since I bought that from Book Outlet and the shipping is standard under a certain weight, I decided to throw in two more books just since I was paying for that shipping. So I also found a copy of The Strange Library by Haruki Murakami. I mentioned this in my readathon TBRs for April. This is very short and it is a really weirdly formatted book. Um, it's really cute though. I love these kind of weird formats with like a lot of illustrations, funny cover. The last book that I bought from Book Outlet is Horns by Joe Hill. I was very happy to find this in this cover edition because usually the Book Outlet has the movie edition with Daniel Radcliffe on the cover and I really don't like movie editions. <laughs> I only read Lock and Key, the graphic novel by Joe Hill. Never read a novel by him, so I'm really excited to read this. I haven't seen the movies. I know in essence what it is about, but I don't know any details, so I'm really excited to read this one. The next four books were a gift to me. On 8th of March, it's International Women's Day, so my husband took me to a Barnes & Noble store and had me pick out my own gift. He knows I love books, but he has no idea what books I have and don't have because I just buy them like crazy and they just keep getting stacked all over so he can't keep track of what I have and don't have. So the easiest way to do that is just take me and get me to pick stuff. And I picked four books that I had wanted to get my hands on for a very long time. The first one that I got is 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. This is a monster of a book. This has 1,200 pages or something, and it is three volumes into one. On the back, it says that this is a dystopia to rival George Orwell's. That's super intriguing. The next book that I got then was Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. This is a Russian classic. This is part of the 12 books that I wanted to read in 2016. I've heard a lot of things about this book. I can't believe I've gone that long not reading it. I'm planning to read this one very soon. The next one that I bought is a book that I've heard mentioned on booktube very, very much. I don't really know much about it except that it's another kind of dystopian book and that is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This is a sort of psychological thriller dystopian if I'm not mistaken, I'm not exactly sure. And the last book that I got is a book which I've seen many times in Barnes & Noble and I've loved the cover so much. And it is The Book of Unknown Americans, a novel by Cristina Enriquez. This is a book that's set between Mexico and the United States. And that's pretty much all I know about it. The last three books that I bought in March were from a library bookstore. My husband and I took a very spontaneous weekend trip up in Tampa. I really wanted to see Tampa since I came here and we just kind of decided on a whim to just drive up there. I had a great time there. I actually have a vlog that I recorded throughout the weekend and it has been in the process of being edited for two weeks. Not because it's some amazing editing going on, just because I've just been putting it off. Hopefully I'm gonna post this soon and just kind of give you a glimpse of Tampa for those of you who haven't been there. I love watching travel vlogs. When we were pulling into the hotel, I saw this big sign that said library sale and of course after having driven five hours to go to a city that we've never been to, we went to the library to get some books because I have a problem. 
the three books that I bought were Element OP, A Novel in Letters by Mark Dunn. This also I included in my TBRs for the readathons in April. I heard about this on Vika from One Book One Reviews channel last year. I don't remember much about it. The next one was quite interesting that I found because I had been thinking recently how I loved We Need to Talk About Kevin and that it maybe is time that I pick another Lionel Shriver book and I don't have one so I found this for a dollar. It's Big Brother by Lionel Shriver. I'm not exactly sure what it's about but I really loved Shriver's writing and We Need to Talk About Kevin is very haunting and very dark and it stayed with me for a long time and the ideas and we need to talk about Kevin still haunt me to this day and any time that I'm thinking about having kids I think about that book and I get a little scared. Hopefully this one is going to be just as good as that. I was really hoping to find a copy of Tampa by Alyssa Nutting in Tampa. That would have been super cool. I didn't though. So I picked up The Likeness by Tana French. This is the second book in the Dublin Murder Squad, yeah, Dublin Murder Squad uh, series. I haven't read In the Woods yet. I have it. I'm planning to read it very soon though. And this is the second book in that series. I think they're standing by themselves though in the series. They're each different murder cases. And I have been kind of going on a binge of dark murder, thriller, crimes books this year. Um, for some reason, I don't want to think about it too much. And those are all the books that I bought in March. Let us go into the library books. I mentioned in my last video that my library policy is not to check out any fiction or non-fiction books from the library um, because I have so many that I own to read. I'm only checking out graphic novels unless there are books that I need to read for a group read or a buddy read. This was the case with the fiction book that I got. The fiction book is Sanctuary by William Faulkner. This is the next Reader's Inc. book. Reader's Inc. is Conrad's, Gridry's book club. We read The Sailor Who Fell From Grace With The Sea by Yukio Mishima in March. It was a very disturbing yet very beautiful and poetic book and I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed the reading experience of following the discussions in the Goodreads group. There's a lot of very intelligent people in that group that share a lot of interesting ideas and enrich the reading experience a lot. This is Conrad's April pick and I have not read anything by Faulkner before. This one is supposed to be his most accessible yet at the same time his craziest novel I think and I'm really curious to read it. also have a book on hold and that's another group read and that is Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski. It would also be my first Bukowski the next five books that I got are graphic novels. They're all part of my 12 graphic novels to read for 2016. The first two are Fun Home, a family tragic comic, and Are You My Mother, both by Alison Bettle, and they are a family memoir of, of Alison Bettle's house and childhood and just her parents and the relationship there. I've heard very good things about Fun Home when I mentioned it in my list of graphic novels to read this year. People were super excited about it. And this one is a sequel to Fun Home. The next two are The Rabbi's Cat by Joan Safar and The Rabbi's Cat Part 2. This is a French children's graphic novel. It is about a cat who eats a parrot and develops the ability to speak. The last graphic novel is... wait for it... Oh. Watchman by Alan Moore. This is a absolute Watchman edition. This is huge. I've never seen this. This is a re-edited version or something. It doesn't have the glossy pages. It has matte pages and it's much bigger. It's like double the size of the usual graphic novel and I was so happy to find this. I didn't even know it existed but when I saw it I was extremely happy because every time I wanted to check out Watchmen from the library I was a little put off by how cramped it looked on the page. This one is bigger and looks a little more spaced out. Those are all the books that I acquired and checked out from the library in March. Let me know if you've read or plan to read or want to read the books that I mentioned in this whole video. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video soon. Have a great day. Bye.